Once again, I'm in the coat room. This time I'm joined by Auditor Crit Llewellyn. Uh, Crit, are you having a good time at the convention? Oh, we're having a great time. It's a tremendous opportunity to be here with Democrats from all over the country. Uh, somebody called it the Olympics of, uh, of our democracy. Just, you know, it happens every four years and it brings the best from all across the country to it. Well, that's true. I mean, it's just a fascinating, um, you know, it's, it's a laboratory for democracy. And, mm -hmm. and seeing that energy in the convention hall, there's just nothing like it. Yeah. I wasn't there last night, but I can only imagine that it was amazing. Are you going tonight? Yes. I'll Excellent. Um, let me ask you this, Crit. What, um, what can Kentucky Democrats do to connect not only with Kentucky Democrats, but Kentucky Independents and uh, some uh, open-minded Republicans uh, that the Democratic message of change that Bruce Lunsford's delivering and that Barack Obama and Joe Biden are delivering is, is they have the plan to pull us out of the misery of the last eight years? Well, I think we've got a tremendous opportunity because the economy has finally put us in a position where Democrats can make a compelling argument to working families all over Kentucky that it's Republican policies that have really shattered the American dream. Mm -hmm. Every Kentucky family who's out here um, working hard to build a better future for their children is struggling to make ends meet. Uh, they're mm -hmm. dealing with uh, high energy prices, a home mortgage crisis, uh, skyrocketing tuition costs, um, uh, unaffordable health care or, in, or inaccessible health care. I mean, everything about what has happened with the Bush policies in Washington has now hit home with families. And that's a message we've got to deliver very effectively, is it's that democratic policies uh, are going to turn this economy around, are going to put our priorities in this country back in place. We need to have a reasonable tax policy that rewards hard work. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to have a, a policy that truly gets us on track to have energy independence in this country. Uh, we have to simultaneously, as we're tackling these economic policies at home, we've got to restore our image in the world. Uh, we're spending so many of our precious resources, both um, financial resources, but also the lives of our young men and women in a war that was misplaced. We need those resources here at home, helping mm -hmm. to rebuild the America that we all care about and dream about as Democrats. So we've got a challenge on our hands because we have to go home from this convention united and focused behind one central theme and message, and then we have to deliver that message effectively, that it's mm -hmm. the Democratic Party and Democratic principles that will mean the most to building a better future for American families. Mm -hmm. uh, what's been the highlight of the convention for you so far, Chris? Oh, I think it had to be Hillary Clinton's speech. Uh, I think she showed incredible strength and commitment to the principles that she believes in. She delivered a speech that had to be very difficult for her. She was giving up a dream, but she did it with class and intellect and charm and force. And yeah. she did it in a way that really turned the um, turned this convention around. You know, all of the speculation and all of the intrigue up until that point had been, could we unify as Democrats? And would we be divided? And was there bitterness? And certainly there's still Clinton supporters who are very emotional and very committed to her candidacy in our own delegation. We just voted in, inside, or the Kentucky delegation did, and it was a very emotional process. Very difficult, um, and it was interesting if you saw the emotion in the faces and voices of many of our own delegates. It was not anger or bitterness, it was simply disappointment. Many mm -hmm. women who've worked all of their lives in the Democratic Party to see women get to the level Hillary Clinton did we're having a very hard time giving that up mm -hmm. and understanding that she's lost this opportunity for us to elect what would have been perhaps the only shot at the presidency in our lifetime for middle-aged women um, to see uh, Hillary Clinton succeed would have been a remarkable achievement. So it's, it's hard for these women to give that up and know that we didn't make it. Uh, and as a woman, obviously, I was very interested in that myself and very concerned about it. But having said that, I listened very carefully to what Hillary Clinton said last night. And what she said to me was, let's all get behind Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. Together, unified, to do anything less would be abandoning the principles she stands for. It would be a total betrayal. That's right. Uh, I just thought the, I thought the speech was just so compelling. Absolutely. Well, uh, Auditor Llewellyn, we really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend some time in our press room, the coat room here at the... Uh, 
Hilton Garden Inn. I am particularly impressed with your press room here. We uh, spent a long time on the decorations. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. And, um, we should get some signs or something in here. But you, you have a great supply of water. That's the good news. We're ready. We're ready for the fallout. <laughs> well, Auditor will um, we'll let you get on with your convention day and we'll... Uh, are you bicycling today? I'm not bicycling. I think I'll walk. Okay. Fair enough. Also green, also healthy. Thanks very much for talking with Thank us. Thank you, Ben.